There's a paradigm shift happening in, in transportation. The future of movement, it's being reinvented. And now the technology, it just keeps advancing and we're set to make air travel just an everyday experience. The following is the story of Archer Aviation, a company on a mission to connect inner city points in a quicker and greener way. With a focus on reducing urban congestion and cutting carbon emissions, Archer is redefining how we move in today's world. In 2018, after selling their previous company five years earlier, Brett Adcock and Adam Goldstein set out on a new adventure. Although many competitors had already unveiled hovering prototypes, Archer entered the electric fee toll market a bit later, yet they managed to be at the forefront of the sector today. Before Archer, Adcock and Goldstein founded Vettery, an online recruiting marketplace, which later got acquired by the ADECO Group. With their early work conducted in close collaboration with the University of Florida, from where they both graduated, and fueled by their own private funding, Archer Aviation quickly transformed from a concept into a startup headquartered in the heart of Silicon Valley. Archer's initial phase was a period of rapid experimentation and groundbreaking discoveries. Their first demonstrator, known as Maker, was far more than just a prototype. Every test flight was a lesson. Engineers meticulously gathered data on all kinds of parameters. During these early trials, financial challenges forced Brett Adcock to step down as co-CEO, a setback that, while difficult, set the stage for further innovation and strategic pivots. A couple months later, Archer secured a partnership with United Airlines, and they announced plans for the first electric air taxi route in the US, with an initial route between Newark International Airport and the downtown Manhattan heliport. Shortly after this announcement, Archer introduced a more refined production model known as Midnight. Designed to carry four passengers, Midnight is optimized for rapid back-to-back -back flights spanning 20 to 50 miles. Archer's Midnight aircraft is powered by 12 propulsion units, of which six tilter and six lifter motors. The idea of a FETOL aircraft is that it is capable of taking off and landing from densely packed environments using all of its motors and then transitioning to horizontal flight for more efficiency. In hover, Midnight uses around 1,000 horsepower in order to stay airborne, while horizontal flight needs only about one-fourth to one-fifth of that energy. Let's see how that works. When the aircraft is hovering, the full weight is solely carried by the propulsion system of the aircraft. This formula can be used to calculate the power required for the aircraft to stay at a certain altitude where rho represents air density and A, the rotor disc area. In a stable hover, thrust is equal to the aircraft's weight. Let's say that the cruising altitude will be 2,000 feet. In reality, Midnight will probably be climbing in horizontal flight, but for simplicity, we'll take a flight profile like shown here. Then we can calculate the density of air at 2,000 feet using the standard air density formula and filling in the numbers. The only thing missing is the rotor disc area. We can get that from the front of the Q3 shareholder letter. We know that the wingspan is 14.6 meters, then half of that is 7.3 meters. Using that scale, we can determine the diameter of the front and the aft propellers. Using some easy high school maths, we can then determine the rotor disc area. Now we have all the variables for the power equation. Plugging them all in gives us a total power of 472 kilowatts, or 634 horsepower. For horizontal flight, we begin by determining the thrust required to calculate the necessary power. Now, instead of the thrust, the lift is equal to the aircraft's weight, and the thrust is equal to the drag force. Given that the aircraft's lift-to-drag ratio is approximately 11.3, we can calculate the needed thrust. Using this formula, we can then determine that the total power required for cruise is 171 kilowatts or 229 horsepower, which is indeed around three times smaller than the power required for vertical flight. Although the computed value differs from the 1,000 horsepower cited by Archer, the difference can be attributed to factors such as parasitic drag, 
as the propeller arms block part of the disc area. Motor efficiency, as not all electric energy can be perfectly converted into rotational energy, and the aerodynamic profile of the propellers, as they also have a drag component working against the motor. So 1,000 horsepower is definitely possible for stable hover, and this isn't even when accelerating upwards. Midnight has six individual battery packs each supporting two motors. In the event one pack fails, the remaining packs can compensate, ensuring continued operation. Additionally, the battery assembly is engineered to withstand a 50-foot drop and is isolated to prevent cascading failures. Apart from being extremely safe, it is also made to align with the goal of the Midnight aircraft, rapid back-to-back -back flights of 20 to 50 miles. After flying that distance, Archer says that Midnight is ready to fly after only 10 minutes of charging. Let's see if that's a realistic claim. Midnight has an 800-volt battery system, delivering a combined capacity of 142 kilowatt-hours and a maximum range of 100 miles. Let's calculate the charging time for the longest back-to-back -back route of 50 miles, which amounts to 71 kilowatt-hours of energy. We can use some high school physics this time and calculate the amperage needed to charge with these formulas. Combining and rewriting then gives this formula. Plugging in the numbers gives an amperage of 532.5 amps, which is just outside the capabilities of a normal CSS adapter, which is the standard for electric aircraft. Charging midnight with such a charger after a 50-mile trip would take 12 and a half minutes. But for a 40-mile trip or shorter, the CSS charger would already do the trick. So with some fine-tuning of the charging stations and maybe some clever trip planning, the 10-minute charging time is definitely possible. The propellers of Midnight are designed in such a way that they are efficient and make a lot less noise compared to a helicopter. This is mainly because there are 12 propellers instead of one like a helicopter. That means that the tip speed of the propeller is much smaller. This results in a noise output of around 70 decibels, roughly equivalent to everyday urban traffic noise, making it significantly quieter than conventional rotorcraft. Archer's growing reputation attracted major players from across industries. In a move that signaled industry-wide confidence, United Airlines placed a billion-dollar order for Archer's Midnight, envisioning a future where air taxis seamlessly connect airports with city centers. Alongside this, a strategic partnership with Stellantis, one of the world's largest automakers, paved the way for mass production, ensuring that the company's innovative designs could scale to meet the growing demand. Archer and Stellantis are planning to finish the first production facility early 2025 and should be able to produce about 650 air taxis a year. But Archer's ambitions extend beyond commercial services. Recognizing the potential of VTOL technology in other sectors, the company also entered the defense area. Collaborations with technology innovators like Andrel Industries and defense veteran teams are making it possible for electric propulsion aircraft to serve military missions. This dual focus not only diversifies Archer's prospects, but also reinforces their position as one of the leaders in advanced air mobility. Their rigorous testing program has not only helped improve aircraft performance, but also advanced its certification efforts. The company has made significant steps with the Federal Aviation Administration to certify their aircraft. Archer has already received its air carrier and operator certificate, meaning they can operate as a non-scheduled air charter carrier. Shortly thereafter, they also earned the certification for its pilot training academy ensuring that it meets all standards for structured pilot education and flight training. Today, Archer Aviation is a big player in the transportation revolution. With a state-of-the-art manufacturing facility nearing completion and certification milestones rapidly being met, the company is on track to launch its commercial air taxi service as early as end of this year. From its humble beginnings in 2018, to its current status as a multi-billion dollar enterprise with strategic partnerships and a global outlook. Imagine stepping out of your building and, within minutes, boarding an air taxi that flies you over congested streets to your destination. 
Archer Aviation is not merely designing a new mode of transport, it is reshaping the way we think about urban mobility. This was the story of Archer Aviation, but Archer is not alone in this industry. We'll discuss Joby Aviation and their aircraft in the next video, so stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching.